Hey, okay, so this is day two of recording, technically day three of actually being on the carnivore diet. Um, so just gonna get right into it. I was so excited this morning. I stepped on this scale and I'll just be honest, I don't care if everyone knows my weight. I was basically hovering right around like 136 in general. Um, I'm 5'5", hovering around 136 since having my son, my last baby, and he's like coming up on a year and a half old. So, hovering around 136 this morning, I was 132. Okay, and I'm telling you, I haven't weighed that since well before I had my son. So, that was very exciting. I was pretty happy. My husband said it's probably mostly water weight. So, full disclosure, it's probably not fat that I'm losing at this point. It probably is water weight. But, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm fine with that because, either way, less bloat in my belly going on, let go of some of that water weight, and um, I just was really happy. I haven't been 132 other than when I'm literally sick and have not eaten hardly anything for like one or two days is the only other times that I ever have gotten down to anywhere close to 132. Um, and I always got right back up to like minimum of like 135 immediately after I started feeling better and started eating like I was before again. So that's pretty exciting. 132. My goal weight is 125 because that's what I was pre-baby, any baby. So that's my goal weight, just so you guys know. Um, I am going to talk a little bit about how I felt. So like last night, I will say, it's a little wonky, like felt pretty weird, honestly. Like after I went to bed, um, I just, I don't know how to explain it other than I just kind of felt weird, like not exactly dizzy, but just like this weird heady feeling in my head. Um, and I had some cramping, not cramping, um, achiness, I would say in my legs, like in my calves, but I had just worked out the day before. So it could also be from that. That's totally gone this morning. I don't have any achiness or cramping or anything as of this morning. So that went away, but I did have a little last night. Um, I was on the verge of a headache multiple times yesterday, and all the advice that I've seen, um, they say just like up your electrolyte intake, particularly sodium. So every time I felt like I had a headache coming on, I just literally put like a dash of salt in my palm, ate it, and then took like a drink of water, like probably like four ounces of water or something. And so far, that has staved off any headaches um, every time. So that's what is working for me. My husband and I are going to look more into electrolytes and what we can do to supplement with that if necessary. Um, the other thing I noticed so far today and yesterday, I have not had the uh, that late afternoon energy slump. Um, high energy all day. Like especially this morning, I like really noticed it. Cause like usually when I wake up in the mornings, I feel so groggy and like, I just, I don't want to get out of bed. Um, this morning when I woke up, you know, within minutes of waking up, I felt good to go. I was like, yes, I'm actually, you know, fine with getting up for the day. I was totally excited for that. It was great. Um, so that was also a nice perk. Um, I made a list cause let me tell you, I cannot remember all these little things without writing them down. So they are on a pad today. Um, uh, this is kind of a, like, ew, may not want to hear it, but bowel movements, good so far on this diet. Um, I know most of us probably grew up hearing, like, oh, you need all this fiber and stuff to be regular and consistent and all that. I never had issues with that even prior to starting carnivore, but since starting it, I have not seen any, like, noticeable issues. Um, not much in the way of changes, just good, clean movements in the bathroom, so good another weird little thing that I've noticed is like my teeth feel cleaner and I don't know if you guys know what I mean but like I'm this is purely speculation I'm obviously not a doctor I'm not giving medical advice I'm just telling you guys like what my experience is what I'm noticing etc um my teeth feel cleaner so like literally um <clears throat> like I normally notice once I've eaten like some carbs or sugar or fruits or different things at some point during the day I will notice like you know like some buildup or something on my teeth at some point obviously brush and it goes away but 
I'm just saying like I haven't noticed that on my teeth like going the whole day and I don't notice any of it like my teeth are staying clean feeling I rub my tongue over my teeth all the time and it's like ooh, <laughs> like it feels good um so yeah and uh yesterday so the day before yesterday I noted in the last video that I did feel the need to snack mid-morning and then again mid-afternoon but as of yesterday I did not need any snacks all day so you hear something in the background that's my husband coming home you're in the video babe say hi um anyways so I didn't need any snacks yesterday so no mid-morning no mid-afternoon nothing I ate my breakfast probably like around 10 honestly I eat a late breakfast and then I didn't get hungry again until well after two o'clock so just to give you guys an idea I ate supper again, light supper. So this is what I had yesterday to eat. Um, I had for breakfast scrambled eggs, about a quarter stick of butter, so two tablespoons of butter, and probably like an eighth cup, a couple more tablespoons of hamburger fat, all mixed in the scrambled eggs. Those scrambled eggs soak it up nicely, and I ate that. Um, probably about two ounces of mozzarella cheese as well, yesterday morning with breakfast. For lunch, like I said, around 2.30 to three, I had more of my turkey with bone broth poured over probably quarter or third pound of turkey with bone broth, um, some leftover scrambled eggs. By the way, I'm probably eating probably like between three and four eggs when I have them um, in the mornings. And if I have anything left over that I just didn't feel like eating, I waited and I just add them to my lunch later. And then I also added some butter. So turkey with bone broth, eggs, and another couple tablespoons of butter on that. For supper, we had greasy french fries, chopped potatoes into nice skinny little fries like you'd get at a restaurant and then like McDonald's or whatever size fries cook those in fat lots and lots of grease all that hamburger grease from making burgers cooked it in that it was delicious add a little salt to that of course um, to make sure you're getting your sodium intake and then sausage patties probably like a total of a quarter pound of sausage or so and I put dollops of sour cream on top of that probably like at least a quarter cup total of sour cream what is this? Big. Ooh, ground beef. Of More ground. supplies. And then, so with all of my food, I salt it to taste. So just salt it nicely. And then, like I said, if I feel a headache coming on, I will add salt just in my palm, eat it, and take some water with it. I did want to note, because I didn't say this yesterday, but I am drinking red raspberry tea still. That's not carnivore. However, um, prior to starting carnivore, just on my previous like normal diet, um, I would drink red raspberry tea, basically one cup per day, just plain red raspberry leaves steeped in boiling water for like five, 10 minutes, one cup of that a day. For me, it prevented all of my period cramps. Okay, so if I drink like a cup of that a day, I go from periods that are like a level nine or 10 in pain, cramping, nausea, um, literally passing out. I've passed out from period cramps before um, but when I take that red raspberry tea regularly I don't have that so I have continued to take that since having babies even when I'm not regularly taking my tea I've noticed that I don't have the same period issues that I did before having kids but I take it anyway just in case I don't want to ever get back to that spot of painful periods again so I have continued to take my red raspberry tea one cup a day I also currently am taking it for the magnesium. It's high in magnesium, so I figure that's another way to get a few of those electrolytes that everyone says, you know, you should get. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't think I had the, yeah, the only other thing that I had on my list of like things to tell you guys is it's easy. Like so far it's been so easy. Like let me tell you, I used to stress about meal planning. I used to stress about what are we gonna eat? How long is it gonna take? Literally thinking about meals like a day in advance consistently, if not more than that. Um, shopping lists, making shopping lists and having like, you know, lists this long of stuff to get. And I haven't had to do that with this. It's been awesome. I don't like, I don't love that part of home life and, and cooking and stuff. I love to cook, but I don't love the planning. I don't love having to think of what to have every single day. This has been so easy. So far, I'm not tired of the foods. Um, the testimonies that we've heard from other people, they say that once you've been on carnivore for like a good month or so, a lot of times the uh, 
cravings and desires for other foods go away anyway. So that's just something to keep in mind. Hopefully it's the same way for me because like right now I'm doing good. Um, if I feel like I'm going to have a sugar craving coming on, I take something with fat and that seems to help. So that's what I'm doing. But yeah, so easy, guys. It's so easy. Um, I'm spending way less time in the kitchen, okay? Like meals previously, I mean, you had, sure, some meals were like 30 minutes, but a lot of times I was in the kitchen for well over an hour for every single supper, you know, and depending on what I did for lunches, same thing. And I just, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm kind of lazy, I guess. I don't know, but I don't like it. So this is so easy. You know, I'm spending less than 30 minutes in the kitchen to cook, prep, everything, every meal. That's it. You know, so easy. I love it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything I had on my list. So there is your daily carnivore diet progress update. I uh, hope you have enjoyed it and I will be back again tomorrow. Bye.